These Polar Pro filters are friggin' awesome. Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Let me know in the comments down below, but I hope you're all tickety boo. Now these anamorphic filters from Polar Pro are friggin' awesome for photos and video. Now on here, I've got the blue morphic one with the mist filter on there as well. That's why you can see these blue things up here, or hopefully can, and maybe over there, yeah? And maybe even there. But this is what it looks like with the gold morphic filter on it. There we go. As you can see, it's more pronounced there, isn't it? The gold one, I suppose that's the my lighting that I've got in here. And hopefully you can see it over there. And let me just twist this around for you. And as you can see, you can move it around and have it tilting down that way. Or actually you'll see in some photos later on and get it going parallel across there. I think just about, where is it? About there, look, you can see it. Just pull it around a little bit more. There you go. So you can get those going. But we'll have a look at some photos in a minute. But this is what it's like with the mist filter back on top of the gold morphic filter. As you can see, here it is again. Makes it look a little bit softer, doesn't it? So first off, although I got these from Polar Pro, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form, and I'm free to say whatever I like. In fact, they don't even know I'm making a video about them. Well, they might now. So in a minute, I'll show you some photos of it and some video footage of different scenarios, you know, with car headlights and things like that, and some sunsets with them, which I think has um, made a real difference to them and really come out really good. But we'll see those at the end of the video, won't we? Um, and of course, you can always get all of those images off me if you like. Just let me know in the comments down below. So let's look at them briefly. There isn't much to say about them other than the build quality, as you expect, is superb. They come in this nice branded box, as you can see, and you get that quality as normal Polar Pro polishing cloth. And like all Polar Pro filters nowadays, they don't come with a case, which some of you might be disappointed with because these were nice cases, weren't they? This is the um, CP one in here, but that's not a bad thing because look at this. If you've bought any of them already, like the Peter McKinnon um, variable ND filters and things like that, these have taken the stuff from that. They've got the metal screw on back yeah, and, and that screws in and it protects the glass and it saves you getting any of the fingerprints on there. Plus you get the awesome Defender lens cap, which you can leave on and it helps make sure you get no fingerprints over the lens. So as you can tell, I've taken them off now just so you can see the difference between the normal lens and what it was like with the blue ones on there and the gold ones. But let's just recap on that. Here's a blue one with no mist filter on it. And then here it is with the mist filter on it. Let's look at the gold one again. Here it is. And as you can see, the slight difference when you put the mist filter on it, it smooths it out a little bit in my view. What do you think? Anyway, before we get onto the photos, here's today's little joke. What kind of music do posh kangaroos listen to? Hoppera. Now, they do state on the site that they're cinema-like. And to be honest with you, that is a true reflection because you're only ever going to get true anamorphic um, flares and things like that from anamorphic lenses at the end of the day. Um, but we can't all afford to go out and buy loads of different ones and things like that, especially if we're hobbyists and you know just do this for a bit of fun. So I think the filter's a really, really good um, option for you because you can use them on all different lenses. You only have to buy one of them and you can get step up and step down rings for them. So I always go for the biggest filter and that way you can probably fit most of your lenses. But to be honest, they do a really good job. In fact, I think they do a hell of a good job. Let's have a look at some of the photos of it and then you can make your own mind up and let me know in the comments down below what you think of these different shots.
Now I'm sure you'll all agree that Polar Pro seem to have done an awesome job here with these, especially when you can mix and match them like I showed early on where the mist filters. In fact, you can probably put the VNDs on there. I don't know what it looked like. I haven't tried it myself. You could have them stacked up with one, two, three on there, couldn't you? Um, but if you're interested in getting them yourselves, there's links down below. But Polar Pro at the moment have got bundles on whereby you can get the gold Morphic, the blue Morphic and the mist one as a special package deal. And I'll put the price up here of what it is at the moment, but obviously that may well change. And in a second, I'll show you some of the video footage as well. But like always, if you've got any questions whatsoever, make sure you leave them down in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this or found it useful, then give it the old thumbs up because it helps the channel out, doesn't it? And don't forget, you know, if you hit that subscribe and the bell, it helps us out even more, doesn't it? So we'll have a look at some video in a minute and some more photos at the end. So stay tuned so you can have a look at those. And like I said, if you want any of them, let me know in the comments down below and I'll get you uh, some of the raw footage sent out to you so you can play around with it yourselves. That's it for the day, everyone. Stay safe out there. Have fun making stuff. Always keep smiling. Cheers for now.